Hello Coin Engineers and welcome to our channel. This is the last video of our Binance Futures tutorial. In the latest video, I gave you some pro tips to be more successful while trading. And in this video, I will do a live technical analysis and I will open a position. Before we start, like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the priceless contents that we share every day. And also, if you are new to cryptocurrencies and do not have a Binance account, you can join Binance with a lifetime commission discount through the link in the descriptions and pinned comments. If you're ready, let's start. First of all, I will set my leverage to 2x and I'm opening my position in isolated. Let's show what I'm thinking to do with the short position too. Now let's find our support lines. Here is one and here is the other one. Here we have a downtrend as you can see. I should put my stop loss higher than the downtrend. And I also believe this price action will turn into an ascending triangle. So let's find our target now. Our target is equal of the first wave of the triangle. So I will take its side and put it right here. Our target points just another support line. But I will be more conservative and close my position at $21,070. I've transferred an amount just to open this position so I will make my size 100%. Now I clicked on sell button and as you can see at the bottom my position is opened. As you can see my RR ratio is 2 so this is a good position to be. Click on the little icon here and in this page you can easily set your take profit and stop loss levels. I set my levels before I opened this position with you a minute ago. So let's write them here now. My TP level is 21,100 and my stop loss is 23,500. You can see your estimated PNLs just under the TP and SL sections. Click on confirm and this section is done. Now let's talk about my stop loss. Why did I put my stop loss to that position? There is a resistance level at 23,300 as you can see. So I put my stop loss to a level that both higher than the resistance, higher than the moving averages which you can see on the screen and also higher than our downtrend. And this is the end of our video. Do not forget to join our other social media accounts in order to get every content that we share. And also, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.